Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome to lesson number eight. This is all about repurposing. And I have learned to find my own system and my own way of doing this. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll film an episode as a video and then I'll export it and change it into an audio. Um, sometimes I'll pull different quotes from it. Sometimes I'll rewrite a blog post based on it. I then share it across various different platforms. Um, there have been times where other bits and clips of episodes have gone together or I've revisited something. If you build something, really don't see it as a one dimension, like one purpose thing. If you took a piece of paper, for example, um, you can think of a million different things that you can do with that. Or if you take an ingredient, for example, like uh, chicken. I'm just saying chicken, it's the first thing that came to my head. There are so many different things, or a spud, a spud if you're vegan. Um, you know, there are so many different ways you can cut a potato, that you can slice it, that you can cook it, you can roast it, you can mash it, you can crisp it up, you can not, you can salt it, you can add herbs or not. And I think it's a really good use of your time when you see that possibility of what you can build, what you can create from that one thing. Especially in... Um, our time right now where maybe we're limited for time, this is a really great opportunity for you to say, hang about, I could do this and I could change this like you would with a potato of like, oh, we'll use that leftover and I'll build this and I'll make this and I'll add a salad. Um, be really flexible with what you can do with that thing. It's never one thing, especially if you own the content, especially if that content is yours, be willing to repurpose it. Brucey bonus on this lesson number eight as well is continue to share it. Continue to share it, make it easy. Don't just share it once. And there might be some people that are like, gosh, she's sharing that bloody episode again. I've listened to it, it's all done. But um, there will be some people who are literally discovering you for the first time. So keep sharing. I notice with my stats when I go back, every episode gets increased listens every single week. And, um, and that's great. It means new people are discovering in new ways. Another thing that happens with the podcast is, and I know this personally, if I um, discover an entrepreneur, for example, and I might see a video of theirs on YouTube and I think, okay, they really inspired me or I really connected with their message, I might type their name into iTunes and then I might see other episodes that they have done or been part of or discover more of their work. I might then download that and get to know that person more and more. Over the years, I've interviewed so many fantastic guests and I know that that has probably happened where they've seen that guest somewhere else and then I've come up when they've searched for that name. So keep sharing your work. Don't assume that just because you've shared it once, everybody has seen it. People have busy lives. Send it relevant, um, also relevant ones as well. So um, make it really clear, spell it out. If you've been talking about mental health about in a blog or a video or something, say, share it to somebody, share it with somebody today who might benefit from this kind of material. Um, yeah, spell it out, make it easy and um, repurpose. It's great.